So we have some breaking news that a couple libertarian capitalist anti-government institutions took money, took government handouts via the Paycheck Protection Program. It's deliciously ironic that these groups that always rail against regular working class Americans getting help from the government when they needed it quickly, eagerly snatched up that money. And we're talking about the Ayn Rand Institute and the Americans for Tax Reform Federation, headed up by famous anti-tax crusader Grover Norquist. Both of these organizations got hundreds of thousands of dollars. The Ayn Rand Institute may have gotten as much as $1 million dollars to offset the losses these organizations have faced during this crisis and help them keep their workers employed. And now here's the deal. I'm in general support of these programs. We have them in Canada. Progressives like Bernie Sanders have supported things like the Paycheck Protection Program. So I think any organization that's eligible should apply and should get the help they need. But for organizations whose ideological mantra is that the government is bad, that the government shouldn't be protecting people, that people shouldn't depend on the government no matter what, no matter where, that all government does is hold back the truly creative, entrepreneurial, and innovative from their true success, them taking this money is a clear sign of their brazen hypocrisy. And that's what it's all about. Now, they'll try to walk this back a little bit, and they'll try to rationalize it. The Americans for Tax Reform Federation have basically said that, you know, we actually never opposed the PPP. We never opposed this program. And so us taking the money from it isn't that hypocritical. But Grover Norquist himself, again, somebody whose name is synonymous with this organization, if anything, it's known more by him than by its actual name. He's basically said that this approach, the general act of subsidies, the stimulus package, including the PPP, is bad, not only because it is going to raise the deficit and might, you know, eventually require taxes to pay the money back, but that it would slow down the recovery and that the way a recovery happens quickly is if the government gets out of the way and lets the private sector do its thing. Now, I think that's BS, but if you believe that, if you take the money, if you validate the program, if you use the program as it exists, and you believe the program is largely responsible for slowing the recovery down, then aren't you as an organization, in a sense, slowing down the recovery that you want to see? And Ayn Rand Group, the Ayn Rand Institute, basically says, well, the government forced us to do this, so we have no other choice but to take their money. But of course, any organization that can pull up its bootstraps during normal times should be able to do it now. They could rely on the individual initiative and charity and, you know, generosity of its members, of the truly entrepreneurial Americans, and they could get donations from them. After all, billionaires during this crisis have made off like gangbusters. The richest and most successful people in America have not struggled. And so if the Ayn Rand Institute was truly about representing the truly great people and their success to build a better world, then certainly those folks still have money to give. They shouldn't rely or need the support of the bottom feeders that are known as the 99%. They don't need the hoi polloi. They don't need a scum. They're better than us. They shouldn't need our money any of the time even during a crisis. Again, pull themselves up by the bootstraps. And this just shows that any one of these organizations, whether it's libertarian or conservative or generally seen as anti-government, anti-subsidy, anti-welfare, what have you, will always, when push comes to shove, take the welfare given to them even as they instantaneously decry support that goes to working class people and goes to minorities, to poor people, to single mothers, to homeless people, whatever. 
because for them, welfare, tax reform, distribution of wealth, all these sorts of things are wedge issues for their politics and not a matter of principle. Government welfare is good when it goes to them. Government welfare is good when it supports them and their allies and their initiatives. Government welfare is good when it subsidizes the wealth and power and connections and ambitions of the 1%, the 0.1%. You know, that's what it's about fundamentally. It's about class power and class politics. And so all of these organizations in the front of the media, in the camera, in the spotlight, when it's all about philosophy, will say, you can't have government subsidies because they engender a, you know, weak, listless, you know, lazy society full of takers and not enough givers. But then when it comes time for them to do the taking, they are going to take, 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 and they will take far more. They will take absolutely far more than any working class person or poor person or homeless person or single mother struggling or people from minority communities that are systematically disadvantaged at the worst of times and at the best of times. And they will do so with a smile on their face because for them, it's not really charity. It's just just them getting their due. This is actually a huge story because these organizations thrive on this libertarian objectivist ideology that it's up to them to rid government waste and intervention. Yet when it's for them, it couldn't come soon enough. And this is especially the case, guys, because the PPP as it exists hasn't been equal. It has not helped all businesses equally. Many of the corporations and institutes and other organizations that have been helped have generally been larger and more connected. And as some have noted, very small businesses, as well as businesses that are owned within the black community, have had systematic issues getting access to the PPP. So whether it's the fact that regular people are getting one measly $1,200 stimulus check, or whether it's the fact that black owned businesses are being crowded out of the PPP game, not only are these capitalists, these hyper libertarian organizations taking money that they would support supposedly reject philosophically, they're taking this money instead of the people that actually need it. 